Welcome all. Today in this session, I'm going to tell you that how you can write a Java program to print a pattern of a equilateral triangle, or you can say pyramid using the star. So this is the, you can say star uh, triangle we have to achieve. And for this, uh, we are going to start the program. So first of all, we write the main method. And in the main method, first of all, I'm going to write a scanner so that I can take the input from the user that uh, how many, uh, uh, you can say how many times, or you can say in how many lines we have to print the triangle here. So that's why I'm taking the input from the user and that I'm storing in a variable that is end here. So now the purpose of, you can say here, you can say the number of n will uh, tell us that uh, how many times or in how many lines we have to uh, create the triangle here. So this, you can say this is a, a one, uh, you can say we have one line printed, we have two line printed, we have three line printed, we have four line printed, five line printed, six line and seven line. And then you can say this is the eight line here. So uh, I have just give, taken the example of eight lines when somebody is giving the input of eight. Uh, so whatever number uh, you can see user is giving as an input on the basis of that, uh, this uh, uh, triangle will be printed on one line, two line, three line. Uh, whatever is giving the input. So now after that, I'm just, uh, you can say uh, for just uh, creating this program, you have to understand that whenever you are printing in the line, uh, suppose take the example, you are writing a program and with, when it is printing in the console. So actually in the uh, console, the printing happens in the line uh, in a, you can say a character by character. So to present the character, like one character it is printing, then another, then another, then another, then same line. So I'm print, uh, just trying to uh, replicate with the help of this, you can say these lines here. So you can consider that uh, whenever I'm printing on the first line, I'm on the first line I'm printing. So if I want to uh, print this star, first of all, I want to print the, these, you can say these, uh, you can say uh, spaces like one space, two space, three space, four space, five space. We have to uh, use this space and then we have to print the, uh, this, you can say uh, this star here. Then we will go to the another line. Uh, we will take our control to the another line with the help of program. And we will, uh, you, you can say, print the spaces here. And then we will print the star. And you can say, then we'll space and the star. So same thing, we have to write a program that every time we are just uh, going to next line, uh, we are just trying to reduce the number of spaces okay, by one. And then we are printing the star on the basis of, you can say, number of rows. In the first row, we have printed one, then two, then three in the four. In the same way, we are it, it will go till the time we have not completed the number of uh, rows which is given by the user. So I'm going to achieve this thing. Uh, for that purpose, I have taken two variables, i and j here. And now I'm creating a loop uh, where i equal to one and i less than equal to n and i plus plus. The purpose of this loop is to cover that uh, how many times in how many lines you want to print the, uh, you can say triangle here. So that's why I'm taking a loop from i to uh, less than equal to n. So if the input is eight, this uh, loop is run eight times. So whenever this loop is going to be run, you can say in this line end of the, uh, you can say uh, every time in the loop, I will, uh, I'm using println. Println means uh, when this loop will run every time, how the control will go to the next line because I'm using println blank means every time the control will go to the next line here. Okay, so now after that, in this loop, I'm going to use another nested loop that is j equal to one, j less than equal to n, and j plus uh, plus. In this loop, I'm going to uh, just uh, uh, just going to print a uh, you can say space here, and the purpose of this uh, line is that every time uh, for every in every line. First of all, we have to use these spaces like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we have to print the star. So that's why I'm just uh, starting with i equal to one. Uh, j equal to one, j less than equal to one, j plus one. So uh, it will start from j equal to i. I means uh, for i equal to one, this loop will run from one to n, means one to eight. And it will print the, you can say space. And when this will be completed, the control will go to the next loop here. And the purpose of this loop is to print the uh, star here. So that's why you can see I'm printing the star, not only star, star and space here. So this loop will run from every time will it will run from j equal to one to j less than equal to i. It means when for i equal to one, this first loop will print all the eight spaces. And with the help of this another loop, I will print the one star j equal to one and j less than equal to uh, i here. So uh, in the first case, the value of i equal to one. So you can see that it will print the eight spaces, then the star here. Now, when the value of i equal to two will happen, in that case, this j, you can see j equal to i, means it will start from j equal to two and j less than equal to n. So every time this loop is actually uh, trying to put the spaces, uh, every time, uh, uh, you can say every time, uh, according to the number of rows, minus one. So it is reducing eight, then seven, then six in the same way it will go here. And the purpose of this, uh, you can send the loop is that for loop to print the star. So you can say when the value of uh, i equal to two, 
this loop will run j equal to 1 j less than equal to 2 it means it will run two times so for i equal to 2 it it will uh, you can say print three uh, you can say two uh, star then it for next i equal to 3 it will print three star then four star so in this way it, this loop will run and your triangle will be prepared here now if you like the video you can click on the like button and if you have any doubt you can refer uh, this uh, uh, program which i have already uploaded in my github repository and the link of the git repository i will provide in the description of this video if you have any type of doubt you can click on the comment and if you have not subscribed my channel you can subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get the notification about my upcoming videos thank you